to check in with Michael now to get a look at that beautiful balcony renovation he did. And Michael, this isn't just any regular reno. You took one space and turned it into four destinations. Yes, yes, I did. So excited to share this renovation with you because it was all about creating zones for this family. Um, mother and son, they have exquisite taste. It's all black and white contemporary in size. So we were taking that living space and bring it outside to reclaim their balcony space. I mean, you really need to do that this summer is reclaim this space. It's not about folded chairs and storage anymore. Let's bring that outside. And so we did some beautiful things out here. I'm already loving the drama of the dark colors behind you. So really excited to hear your suggestions on how to uh, renovate your balcony with specific areas. So let's get to your first destination then, shall we? Right, so what we did is as we enter the balcony here, we have our first zone. And you know that's my favorite word, Tracy, zone, 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 zone. So here is a beautiful, perfect place to have your light dining, meaning breakfast area, come out and have a quick meal. We created very simply with some furniture from Ikea, and everything we have here is from our friends at Ikea today. Really comfortable, and it's really about the view and having a quick breakfast and getting back outside. So this is lounging. And what I love about this zone, it actually reflects the size of a lot of balconies out there too. So if this is your balcony size, you capture it here. It's beautiful, it's a beautiful place to be. And it's very functional when it comes to dining because summer weather is very short in Canada. Let's utilize it, let's do that outside. I agree, take all the meals outside. Okay, gorgeous area. Where are we going next? Okay, so now this balcony actually wraps around the condo. It's a corner unit. So they get full sun area in the afternoon. So what we were able to create for them here is a loungy area. Now, the balcony's not very deep, so we couldn't do traditional loungers. But what we did is we used these beautiful rocking chairs. And this is just to sit down, suntan lotion, relax, rock, take in the sun, read a book, fall asleep, and get your suntan in. Oh, very nice. That's what we all need in this beautiful weather. Okay, I think I'm really going to like the, the next zone we see. Where are we going next? Yes, this is probably my favorite part. It's about working out outside. Wow. In the mornings, doing a quick stretch, a quick workout. Let's get that outside with the breeze and the fresh air. It's so different, especially if you're in a condo zone. And right now, we really need to keep our distance, so we're not using the condo gym so much anymore. All we need is about... 150 square feet this is roughly eight eight and a half by 12 15 and yoga mat some free weights mirror your water and this becomes a beautiful place to stretch to work out really let it go and you've got the natural breeze to kind of bring it in create these zones have them set up calling for you for when you come out of your bedroom you look your zone is waiting right there for you beautiful place to work out i love it and i love the idea of getting outside for your workout show us that last zone there now michael all right, so now when you're entertaining, you have some friends over or you're just relaxing, zones. Here we're using the same type of seating, but we're using it wider. We're using more of a lounge type of idea. So we actually put them side by side. This is where we're going to sit down. We're going to spend time. We need our coffee tables and we're going to eat dinner or we're going to entertain. We actually hit little lights throughout the space as well to kind of create this nice ambiance for at nighttime because a lot of times balconies are not lit outside. So you want to consider that. But let me really make an important point. When you're renovating your, your balcony, there's still rules to follow. Your condo board is gonna have restrictions on the paint colors you can use and on the materials you can use. So this particular building needed black. We had to keep everything black, which matches my client's aesthetic anyways, which was fantastic. So Benjamin Moore supplied us some black matte paint for our walls, which is beautiful. And then what's most important when this couple moved in they were using the original floors that came with the balcony which were wood now wooden it, it takes a lot of maintenance it, it can rot over time and you have to repair we ripped that all out and we had outdoor flooring they supplied us these fantastic composite floors they drain they're durable they're uh, maintenance free and they look stunning and beautiful very comfortable so make sure that you're using products that's rated for outside that you don't have to do a lot of work on. You're not painting and staining and sanding and not rotting. Start with your floors, get the right foundation, and you build from here. So as you can see, these are extremely sleek, beautiful, available in a variety of colors, and let the professionals come in and lay that down for you. And then you add your accents on top. Great foundation for you. You did a good job, and in my head I'm yes. thinking, man, if I ever move to a condo, I need a corner unit. Oh my gosh, that's a good <laughs> amount of space there. Thank you so much, Michael. It goes on forever. Yeah, I love yes. it. Thank you so much. Okay, beautiful. <laughs>